Welcome to the show. This is your host, David Yannis, and we're here on day two of the ICRS 2013 in St. Louis. We're excited, very excited what God is doing. Uh, we, we have another great author, Mr. Stephen Kemp. How are you doing, sir? Fine. Thank you, David. Thank you. Hey, man. He's written, uh, co-written uh, the book, The Fearless Passage, and we want to hear the story. In fact, when I got this book at my house from our friend Kathy at Whitaker, uh, it was uh, it, it came out of the box, and everybody that was there, my kids, my family, said, "Oh, we got to read this. That sounds like a great story." And a couple of them did, okay. and they really enjoyed it. Good. Okay. Tell us about yourself, then we'll jump into your book. Yeah. Um, uh, in year two thousand three, uh, I was arrested in China by the Chinese police because I was helping. Uh, North Korean refugees mm. in China. So at that time, uh, when I was arrested, and then I was so scared, but all of a sudden, as a Christian, I heard God's voice the first time. Mm. And then when I was uh, shivering, trembling, and then the God is telling me in His will, His voice, at that, don't be fear. Mm. Okay? Don't be fear. And then don't be dismayed because I'm with you and I'm your God. Amen. And I'll help you and I'll strengthen you with my righteous hand. Mm. So when I heard that, my fear was disappeared. And then, then since then, I never missed the intimacy with the Lord <laughs> God, even in the prison. And then prison became a heaven to me. Amen. Okay? Amen. For four years. And then, but I, w I, I didn't know what to do, but God is filled me with His grace, mm -hmm. and then I wanted to do something. So what I realized that, well, another voice uh, telling me that, if you want to go to home, you must read the Bible at least uh, 10 times. Oh. So that was the beginning uh. that I began to read the That's Bible. That's a challenge. Yeah, that, was, that takes a long time. But at, at that time, I was uh, 55, mm -hmm. and uh, in my whole life, I read only once. So I realized that to finish the 10 times of the reading Bible, it took me maybe 500 years because <laughs> of the 50 years I did. So, but since then, God really uh, drove me into His training. Mm -hmm. You know, Moses, he did uh, four years in the wilderness yes, training, yes. and God gave me four years. I was a uh, uh, Chinese government to handed me the five-year sentence, but I spent four years in the three different prisons. Each prison, God did some different level. Amen. Yeah, so first level, God, He wants to let me know who He is. And the second level, want me to practice. Mm -hmm. And then third level, and God gave me two churches, wow. underground churches. One was the Korean churches, second one was the English church. Mm -hmm. So in the prison, I become a lay minister. Okay? <laughs> so that, I say that was the, uh, the, my seminary and God has trained me. So since then, and after I was uh, released, that God, I didn't know what to do because God emptied all my thoughts, all my plans. And then when I look at Him, and then He guides me until today in His way. So now what I do is that I uh, organized one of the ministry, uh, the Three Team Partners mission, and then through that, and the first uh, vision was that uh, rescue trafficked North Korean women in mm. China. Yes. So I did uh, follow that, and then in the first two years, we rescued the 66 trafficked women. Mm. And then after that, God asked me to go into North Korea. So. Lord, how can I go to, into North Korea? And then what, what should I do? Then God asked me, you must free them with the gospel. So immediately I realized that, wow, how can I free them with the gospel? Then I uh, thought that, wow, the underground churches, the planting underground churches yes. would be the best way. So, and since then, God arranged me all the connection with the underground churches in there. So uh, right now, uh, we are uh, the training the gospel with the North Korean citizens and Amen. we're sending back. So this is the stories of uh, the experience that God gave me. Okay. And then the, the I met, when I met the car, so him and I, we wanted to make a, okay, why don't we make a book? Okay? <laughs> so the, Amen. this is how the book came out. Amen. Now, how can people get involved in helping North Korean refugees? 
Yeah, uh, there's many ways. It's uh, like when we like to talk about North Korea, but North Korea itself is that when you do the North Korea ministry, there's uh, so many different ways. So whatever you do, and in details, these days, God telling me that, that whatever I do, that is that this is what the, in the God's plan. And then like a, uh, late mid and last year, God showed me one vision, and whenever whatever it's, I have to the North Korean individuals, but God was uh, building uh, gospel highways in North Korea, mm. so that w the, we counted how many North Korean people we sent in, and it was 189. So I marked it in the North Korean map. Where do they live? Then I found that one, the the highways. Okay. You know the Isaiah chapter 60 to 10, build the highways. Yes. Okay, build the yes. highways. Yes. Okay. So immediately I realized that I, I wasn't planned to build the highways, but God He did mm. through little things. So so whatever you do for North Korea, pray or donate or help the missionaries, this is uh, what the, all your help and God is uh, collecting and then He's doing His own ways. Amen. You know, when I was in the, in the military, I, I always thought, you know, when we're out at sea, I always felt like we're in prison because we couldn't go anywhere. We had to do whatever they told us and stuff. But I'm sure when you're in prison, you really feel it. So what was your mindset? I mean, what did you feel like? I mean, you, you have this awesome God that just loves you, and, and He got you now reading the Bible ten times, and people are looking at you, and you're preaching this, and they're like, well, how about you? You're, you're stuck here, and you're talking about this faith. And how, what, what were we going through? No, but it's like, a, okay, God gave me the heart. Okay. Uh, to do something, mm -hmm. I didn't know what to do, how to preach. I did. I don't know because <laughs> I'm a lay person. Yeah, I never learned. So first thing I could do is that hold the rack and then clean the floor because the, these Chinese prisons they spreading everywhere. So I had the cleaning and then the first Sunday and that first meal of the Sunday I had to do fasting and then like in the prison food is the most precious things. Yes. But the, the, this American prisoner and then he's. He doesn't eat, so that's why they thought I'm crazy. Oh. But <laughs> after a while, and then they thought that, wow, the Christians is the best. Amen. So then you showed them by example. Right. right. Then since then, everybody trying to listen to me. So when I look at, there's a two guys who are so weak, and they they are everyone is like uh, uh, they don't treat them as uh, like a human. So that's why I approached to him, and then I asked him, should I pray for you? Then he nodded. So we pray together, and then can he sing together? And he sang. So we, I told him the the songs. Yeah. And then later, let's read the Bible. And so we began to read the Bible. So this is how the worship began. Amen. And then all other the cellmate and the they say, oh, he's a good Christian. Mm. So that nobody bothers me. Mm. Okay, this That's is amazing. how it began. So right? you, you literally became the Apostle Paul. Yes. In, in the, <laughs> I mean, literally. No. You, you, I mean, in the in the in the prison, you became you know, you served. You were, you were like Joseph. You were you were like uh, Daniel. You were like all these guys that that had to go through something, and you and you served, and they seen your character, and they seen your faith through your character. Yeah, I didn't thought about that. At at the time. Time. Yeah. But yeah. The, since after that, I was uh, like uh, uh, meditating Joseph, then realized that, wow, he was served the Lord so, you know, the uh, deeply, but at the end, uh, he, the, where did he go? He was, God sent him to the prison. Mm. And then so when I, so why did he send him to prison? Because that God has the huge plans for him. Amen. So and then why God did you send me to the prison? Because God uh, raised me and trained me, and uh, now and uh, I cannot do anything but only for the Lord God. Amen. Amen. Uh, tell us about the book. Tell us what what they're going to be able to expect. What do you, What do you want them to get when they finish reading this? Yeah, I want them to. Okay, okay. The fearless passage. The this title, mm -hmm. and then you know when you read in the Bible, uh, Timothy two, chapter one and verse seven. Okay, God's heart is not for the fear okay but it's the power and love and then self-discipline amen so there is a i want everyone to read this one and then like in the bible says that don't be fear don't you worry but all in our life is we are full of fear yeah. and love the you know worry yeah but if you really believe with god in truly 
then it's a fear, it's a, you know, it, this is the enemy. But when you rely on God, okay, so that this fear will be disappear. So just I want everyone to try to live as the fearless life. Amen. Okay? Amen. So this book is that uh, for the like uh, how God and then He is the living one. Okay. So that when anyone is believes the God is a live the living one, then then he must trust Him. They, they must trust Him fully so that relying on him then all the fear even the fear just like uh, 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 let him taking care right? amen. then amen. all the fear will be amen and this and this title can go for anyone's life the fearless passage that can go through anyone's life and you know what you believe is what you get so if you believe in fear you're going to get fear you believe in faith you're going to get faith right. so whatever you believe in you're going to get tell them how they can get your book okay um the book is selling and through the uh like uh uh, the f website, like Barnes and Noble's website, okay. and then also that is uh, the what is it? The, another uh, the is it the three three team partners? Yeah, three. You can okay, you can write the three team partners uh, that the website. Okay, and that'd be three team partners of nk dot org. Yes, and then, so like uh, you can you just uh, go into the website and then the 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 write it like uh, go to three the fearlesspassage.com. Okay, you fearlesspassage.com okay, as right, well. Right, all right. right, we'll have all that information on the screen form. Thank you so much for being okay, a part of the show. Thank you, thank you, David. Thank you for inviting me. God thank bless you. you. God bless and you. And we'll be back with another great interview.